Hello, welcome back. It is Wednesday, December the 4th, 2019. Um, my guest in this segment is Janice Hoffman, and we're going to be talking about 5G. Um, and Janice, you've been involved in this game a long time now. Yes. And it's uh, only getting crazier. Yes. Uh, 5G, I never thought we'd ever come to see 5G. Uh, 5G is actually the fifth generation. You know, we had 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, and now we're into 5G. And it's the fifth generation, generation of wireless technology yes. or something? Yes. Okay. And it's been to it has never been tested for safety. This is just, we, we're so all... So it's a different kind of wave that they're now going to be shooting at us. Yeah, it, it's millimeters. It's, it's what the um, U.S. Navy uses for uh, weaponry, um, for cu crowd control. I don't know if you've ever seen them on... Um, I've heard about these yeah, crowd control weapons. Yeah, where they yeah. just put a beam on, on a crowd and then they just disperse because of the... You know the heating. You mean they're actually being used? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, You'll see them that. being used. So this yes. is the same technology. Same technology. Yeah. And what's going to happen now is um, there's, is, and it's been a while. They're putting small cells on the telephone poles in front of our homes, and because it it has a short range, it's going to be about every 200 feet. So about every three, four telephone poles, and they're right in front of our you know kids' bedroom windows. And um, there's not a whole lot we can do about it. So what you're saying is they're putting transmitters on all of our streets. There used to be the cell phone towers on top these, of buildings and on high hills. These are basically the same thing, they're and, small cells. But now they're here right in front of our homes, right. two, one or two a block? No, uh, one or two, maybe a house, like every couple of houses is going to need. Okay. Yeah, not a block, it's okay. more than that. Okay. In my area alone, um, in Colwood, <coughs> I think the one little area, where there was 276 of them installed. I managed to get them not to install the one in front of my house, but they still surrounded me. So I, because I have a, a, a grandson who's very sensitive to the microwave radiation, we were forced to leave. I had lived in my house for 42 years, no intentions of ever selling, and we had to sell our house, and we've now moved out to the Highlands. So 5G is coming. It, there yes. is a health risk. There are scientists around the world who are saying it's a health risk. There are doctors around the world who are saying it is a health risk. Our media refuses to even talk about oh, it. Our politicians do it. nothing. Our city councils do nothing right up to the provincial and federal governments. They don't care. Now, can we guarantee that it's a health risk? I mean, I would say yes, but... Well, there is one study on 5G. It was by a... It was, it was classified. It was just recently been, been declassified by the CAA, CIA from 1977, and it lists all the um, health effects the proven health effects from this technology. Um, I can, if anybody's interested, I can actually send you the link to it. Um, there has been no other tests been done. There was so there is no safety testing on this stuff. No, They're just no. doing it and they don't care. They don't, yeah. yeah. Other cities and other countries are... They're all, yeah, it's all interconnected. The, the, we Some places have banned it. Or are trying to trying to yeah. put a moratorium. We're asking for a moratorium. We want a moratorium so we can study it and see what kind of effects it's going to have on, on us and on our children. And I mean, there's all kinds of uh, videos online with um, bees falling to the ground, like literally falling to the ground as you're videotaping. When they look up, there's two 5G cell towers and they're falling. There's, there's videos of birds flying into to the windows and dropping. There's just thousands of birds. And, and they've looked and found that the 5G had just been turned on and I guess it, it ruins their, their navigation, you know, their natural navigation. I've heard these stories too. And they it's, just drop dead. Yeah, yeah. Um, is, it, is, is 5G happening right here in Victoria? Is, a, is there a system in place and has it been turned on? Uh, right now, I think they're using the small cells for uh, 5G, or 4G, pardon me, okay. um, with intentions of, of using 5G. So the, cell, the, the, the infrastructure is in place? Or? They're placing it, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, right now, uh, UBC campus has a test pilot on the 5G. It's been turned on. Um, there's also good a old place, UBC. Yeah. You know, uh, there's a place in Toronto as well that's been it's been turned on and and they're you know, testing it. Um, it's for the Internet of Things. It's for the cars. It's for you to be able to go you know, for your refrigerator to tell you that you're out of milk. It's for you to be able to drive home from work and turn your oven on when you're at home. You can just pull out your cell phone and you can just, you know, it's all these wonderful things that we really, really need to do while we're driving or whatever. So we can do all that, but we're going to be maybe more sick and dead. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, I mean, it, it's just... <clears throat> Why, why do these corporations have the right to do this to us? Yeah, we can't you know, opt out. And we can't opt out. Nope. I mean, if it's safe, I, I mean, I don't like the whole thing, but if it's safe, I've got no problem with it, If really. it was safe, it would be wonderful. But shouldn't <laughs> they have some obligation to do some studies and tests and say, yeah, this is safe, you can, you can count on it, folks. But yeah, but it, it would be, the industry would, we, we don't want industry-funded studies. We no, I mean real studies, yes. We want yes, independent <laughs> studies done. But the science is out there that it's not safe. That's, it's already there. It's, yeah. it's, we've had... Um, we had a couple of speakers come here a, a few months ago. Yeah. Well, we had the National Toxicology um, um, study that came out of the U.S. It was a, a $35 million uh, study over 10 years, and it had clear evidence of cancer of the brain, cancer of the heart, and it was all related to the cell phone. And shortly after that, the Ramsini study was another 10-year um, study, and it had um, proven that there was um, cancer from cell phone tower admissions, and it was below the level of safety code six. So they had actually um, test, you know, used a limit below what was what we were allowed to be exposed to, and people were still getting cancer from this, or the rats were still getting cancer from this, and it it just confirmed everything from the National Toxicology um, study that had been done. So it was all confirmed, and on top of that, we have over 29,000 studies that show harm in our database by you know PubMed. Now, now you're saying this is not just 5G but wireless technology. That's right that's for wireless and that was just those tests were done those studies were just done on the 2 and 3G. So 4 and 5G there has been no long-term studies done at all. So I mean if, if 2 and 3 <coughs> is already showing health effects then what is 4 and 5 going to do to us? Well, five is going to be beam forming, so that's going to be even, it'll be 10 times more powerful than 4G. It, to me, it's just bizarre, just bizarre that, you know, we think we live in a democracy, but nobody even no cares what anybody wants. It's just going to be done. That's the rule from above. It's the sick, that, it's the children and the, the elderly and, and the sick that's going, to, that's going to be affected the most. They're the ones that aren't going to be able to, to voice their, their concerns. They're the ones that are going to get sick from it, and there's not much they're going to be able to do about it. I mean, when you have all these satellites. Yeah, so the satellites. Part oh. of this is, is the satellites will be, I guess, going back and forth with all the stuff that's on Earth. They plan on covering the whole world with satellites. And I, I actually wrote them down so I could remember. The U.S. is going to launch 42,000 satellites, okay? And they've already launched 120 of them. So they're going to do 60 at a time, twice a month. And when they hit 420 satellites... Just 420. 420. Right. There's still a long, way, a long way to go. Yeah. They're going to turn them on. So they must be fairly close. They're going to close. cover the world. Right. And then the U.K. is going to launch... 5,260 satellites, and they're going to do 30 at a time, three times a month, and when they get to 300 satellites, they're going to turn theirs on. And then Canada, we've only got 512. We're not going to launch ours until 2021. Well, these satellites <laughs> must be very small. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like an awful lot of <laughs> satellites. Amazon is oh, going right, to, right, oh yes. yes. Amazon's going to launch 3,236 satellites, and when they reach 578, they're going to turn theirs on. 
Facebook, they're not going to tell you. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. And Russia is going to launch 640 satellites. So everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. Yeah. It's worldwide. It's like scary. And I, I mean, imagine all these satellites all around the world and it, it, we're microwaving the world. All, all these beams are, we're going to cook. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing that, I mean, nobody even knows. It's not an issue because it's never, it's just never in the media. It's like, it is not an issue. That no. is the, that's the media's job is to make sure that it doesn't Make sure mentioned. we don't know. Have you contacted uh, John Horgan's office or? Oh. <laughs> nobody, nobody responds. Nobody there's, responds. there's, there's nothing. I mean, my email goes in, they see my name and poof, it's gone. So you mean you, you send emails to your MLA? Everyone. everyone. Yeah. I send them to everyone, all the MPs, all the MLAs, everybody, uh, organizations. That's all I do. It's just yeah. sit and try to get somebody to well, listen. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just... It's weird, isn't it? I Letters to the editor? Uh, yeah, yeah. They get filed yeah. under G. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the media's, uh, they're pretty closed on that. Well, I mean, most of the media is, is owned by the wireless industry. So, I mean, you're taking your job in, you know. I just realized I'm moving back and forth and camera people are going to kill me. <laughs> I can't stop. Yeah. Janice, it's just incredible. We've only got a minute left. Anything you want to finish off with? I mean, it's crazy. Uh, no, okay. The only thing I want to finish off with is there is an international day of protest against the 5G satellites. And it's January the 25th, 2020. We need people to start talking and sending letters and, and protesting and, and this is important. By your silence is consent. So if you don't speak up and say nothing, you're saying this is perfectly fine. Well, we nobody need, even knows. I mean, I, I only know. know because, you know, I happen to know a few people who are involved. It's <laughs> we have to crazy. get the message out there. Well, we so. can't get the message out because we're out of time. <laughs> Janice, thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for watching this segment of Cities Voice.